One key aspect to assessing a system's performance is to visualize the SPL throughout the venue. This may be used to assess whether additional fill sources may be required to increase the coverage of the system, or to understand how multiple sources are working together. To launch a mapping, make sure one or more sources are visible and are not muted. In the 3D scene window, select the drop down arrow next to the Switch to Mapping Mode icon. This will list all of the options for the type of mapping to launch. Broadband mapping in Z, A, and C weighting, or a Z weighted custom bandwidth. Select an option to use for the mapping to perform. Now click on the Mapping Mode icon to perform the mapping. There will be a short delay whilst this is calculated. On the left hand side, above the SPL scale, are two important labels. The first being that air absorption is taken into account when calculating mappings. This should be set to on for designing a system within a venue. Below this is the frequency band being mapped. To edit either of these parameters, click on them to launch the options window with the calculation tab selected. This tab contains all of the parameters for calculation. From here, the user can modify atmospheric conditions to simulate how the system may change throughout the timeline of a show. The discretization value describes how discrete the points of calculation are. This can be set between 10 centimeters to 1 meter. The larger the value, the quicker the computation time. Below this, the user can select the custom bandwidths they would like to map for a full range system and for a subwoofer system. There are some additional properties on the rendering tab which will help to visualize the results. In the SPL rendering section, the user can select the maximum or minimum values of the SPL scale. Changing one value will automatically update the other based on the dB per color step. There is an option for swapping between a gradient scale and a stepped scale. On the advanced tab, there is an option to change between color or black and white for accessibility. To quickly update the scale of a mapping without entering the options menu, a user can double click on the SPL scale itself to automatically match the maximum SPL with the maximum calculated SPL. Click on the mapping icon again to switch back to coverage mode. Making changes to sources whilst in mapping mode may take time to recompute mappings, so it can be preferable to swap to coverage mode before making modifications. The icon next to mapping mode is used to show and hide the coverage of sources. This is available in mapping mode only and when enabled, darkens the area not covered by a waveguide. This makes it easy to visualize where the realistic boundaries of system coverage are, even though there is SPL outside of this area. Click on the subwoofer mapping mode icon to launch a subwoofer mapping. This will automatically map only visible and non-muted subwoofer sources using the custom bandwidth for subwoofers, as set in the options window.